Okay, one of you have, have sent in a great picture again for me to demonstrate some of the things I've been talking about, but I thought this would, in particular, was a great picture for us to discuss values, uh, dimensional edges versus contours and shadows, uh, and making sure that you're seeing as much range and value as possible. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to remove some of this and, uh, and see if we can't just give ourselves an opportunity to uh, see a demonstration here. I'm going to back off you know, things like this uh, initial guideline. I want to make sure that we can see it, but we don't want it so dark that it dictates to us how dark we have to go to make it become an edge to our value. Let's go ahead and find an edge. Let's, let's have this Let's have this uh, head go into the hat. So if this is indeed where there's the least light, then it would probably be my darkest place. So I'm starting there. Now, over here, because we have the hat, this brim goes around probably like this and goes, and then we're looking at the back edge of the brim. So now, I want to be able to demonstrate, and I probably should have started here, I could have, but I want to make sure that this part is darker. Always trying to think logically, where is my darkest place? I know it would be darker under here than it is out here, but if this is going around behind and it's under, then it's very possible that this would be even darker. Now, whenever I do something like this, I want to have everything go into where it's darker. So now I can go across this. And have it all get darker as it goes back in under the hat in the front. Okay. Now, this is another thing that I want to discuss. I want to be able to have a, a guideline, whether I've used a freehand sketch or how, whatever method you've used, whether you graft it out or use a projector or anything, make sure that your line here, again, is just dark enough to see. You don't want it to have too much value in it because then that dictates to you how much value you're going to have to put for that line to go away. Very, very rare, unless it's a different technique and style, that I would ever have a line. So I don't want that line to stick out of, let's just say this is a very light hat. It probably isn't. But if it was, I don't want this line to dominate and still show an edge as a line. I want to absorb it into value. And so over here, now that I've lightened this up, back to what I might have wanted in the first place, I want to be able to come up out of where I would assume, maybe if we saw the photograph it would be a little different, but I assume that it would be a little darker as it goes behind the brim or that rolled up portion of the hat. Now, as we are looking at uh, what gets darker when it goes to where there's less light, if there are these uh, If there are some wrinkles or whatever it is, and this looks like it's a little darker out here, as it comes up into the dark, it would get a little darker. Same thing I've talked about with eyes. There's usually a darker rim on the eyes. And if it goes up to where, let me just go ahead and shade this down. We want it consistent. If our light source is, is a little above and we're casting a shadow on the forehead, then uh, that's exactly what would happen here. We would want to cast a shadow the same way onto the eye. We would want to come down here and I've lightened up this darker shadow under the nose. It was quite dark and so that takes away, if I had left it that way, it would take away our opportunity to really pull this nose away from the face and show a gradation. So let me come in here and just guess about how this would be. So let me go ahead and uh, take this liberty. I'm going to 
to shade it down. And on the lips it would be the same thing. I want a definite line in between lips in almost every case because we have to have two lips. We don't want just one contour and we can't really uh, see any definition between them. This shadow is going to be consistent with this one and that one and that one. And so that tells me right away what I want to do. But because this lip is full, it comes out and catches the light. And so this one tapers in towards the mouth and it doesn't look as bright. So it's really confusing. You want a clean edge on one side. On the other side, even though it comes out in the light again, I want to have a soft edge on that side. This over here again is very very cutting edge so it would be really hard to tell where the dimension is. What is really uh, maybe going in and out of our sight or into a crack or whatever. Same thing with up, up here. Uh, this, was very, this was very harsh like this. So I would assume that because we have a light source that's coming quite, you know, quite a bit like this that this would be a darker place, maybe not too dark. And I want to make sure that I don't use up my value in a place like this because I may need that darkest value later. I may need it to go into the darkest place into a shadow. But let's come out here and now we're coming out to the bridge of the nose. We want to make sure that we have our light source just gradually getting darker as it goes over the edge and down where there's the least amount of light. This over here, if we had the same thing going on, we would probably have an edge to this flared part of the nostril. And because it's sticking forward, it's coming forward, it would probably be casting somewhat of a shadow over here as well. I can still show that this is a shadow by making this side soft and this side more cutting edge. Okay. Now some of these wrinkles, I would probably make the same determination. Wrinkles can get really scary if you try to uh, just show them as a line. And that's what I would suggest on some of these that you don't especially go to your darkest pencil. Try and utilize the range you have, make them a little less uh, prominent, and then decide if it's a contour. If it's a contour, it would be shaded both ways. Okay, so now I want to approach one more thing. Showing a gradation here is one thing, but now that I have this nice cutting edge, later on, when I'm using my lighter, I'm working on my lighter values, I want to be able to round this up from that. So I'm going to put a lesser value on the underside of the hat and round it up into the light as well. So now over here, one more thing before I quit. Over here, I want to be able to show that this is round and going around to the dark side. So now that I have this, now I want to be able to round up from that. And now we have consistency with the other shadows. I really enjoyed this. I thank you very much for sending this in and uh, enjoyed uh, this along with many others to uh, get an idea about what you're all doing out there. Hope you have fun. <laughs>